Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're running the Windows 10 Setup Wizard and it says that the installation failed in the Safe OS phase with the error Replicate OC operation. So if you're using the Media Creation tool, it's more than likely when you're coming across this issue. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would actually suggest would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. You're going to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy them out of my description and paste them directly into the command prompt. However, there is something I want to note here with the first letter of the directory or file path it says the C drive so if you know for a fact that your Windows installation is not on the C drive you're just going to swap out that letter with whatever is the correct drive letter otherwise we're going to keep it C in my case since I know it's on the C drive and if you're unsure you can always just go ahead and open up File Explorer down here and then select this PC on the left side and then you can see your local disk where Windows is installed on you got that little Windows icon and it says the drive letter right in here so you might have to paste it in a notepad file and then just swap out the C with whatever your drive letter is before you paste it in so it would just literally be one extra step for you to do but now that you've copied the first one we're going to go paste it into the top bar of the command prompt here so once you've copied it so just highlight over it and control C or right click and copy whatever way you prefer we're going to go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here you're going to right click on it select edit and then paste it in again you can see it right on my screen here you're going to hit enter on your keyboard to run this and then you can do the same thing with the second command there's two in the description you're going to paste in the second one the same way we did the first one if you need to pause the video and actually write this down or copy directly off my screen you can but I do have it in the description of the video you guys can just copy and paste it right in and then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem at that point and there actually is going to be one additional command I will have after these two and we're going to paste that one in as well so just talking about it there's one more I want to run here so there was an error because it was not a valid Windows package however in your case there's a good chance that this would start running here so you just would let it run see if it finds any issues hopefully it doesn't I mean in your case if it does find an issue hopefully it does resolve it but in our case we don't have a problem our issue is non-existent at this point so hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem one further option you can try after we have exhausted these options would be to close out of here open up the star menu and type in troubleshoot best match should come back with troubleshoot settings go ahead and left click on that select additional troubleshooters on the right side and then select a windows update and resolve problems that prevent you from updating windows and then select run the troubleshooter give this a moment here and if it was able to find anything it lets you know if you needed any user input you would have that option at this time but fortunately didn't find anything so you know hopefully one of these methods I showed in this tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye